Hey everybody, I actually want to make a video this time about um, one of the top tips about surviving an exchange year in Japan, a high school exchange year. But, well, yesterday something pretty epic happened and I thought, I want to sell that, I want to talk about that because it was pretty epic actually. I mean, first I'm going to tell you the very short, the extremely short version and then I'm going to tell you the long version for people who want to hear it. But, the short version is, I almost got sexually harassed in the bus. <laughs> and now the long version. Yesterday. It was a, a pretty normal Sunday. I mean, I had a date with my girl, we went to the internet cafe and after that we had some dinner. And When I was waiting at the bus stop in, in Fukuoka, for the bus to Izuka, where I live, I was like, there was this creepy guy. And he was staring at me all the time and I was like, oh my god, I could smell the whiskey and I think he wasn't drugs or something. But he was staring at me all the time and I thought, well, maybe he's like a bee or a wasp. If I ignore him, he will go away. But no. I was looking the other direction and suddenly the whiskey smell gets stronger and that guy is standing next to me all of a sudden and he starts talking to me. And he was talking like, yeah, I'm a gigolo and... Um, you know what it is? And I was like, oh my god, I was just playing stupid. No, I don't know what it is. And then he offered to give me a blowjob. I was like, what the fuck? Uh, no, sorry, I'm not gay. I don't want a blowjob from you. Because he, he was fucking ugly. And he, I, I think he seriously was a junk. And then he even offered to pay me to give me a blowjob. And I was like, no, dude, go away. And I was like, where are you going? Yeah, to Isaac, I'm going, uh, going home. And um, he's like, oh, I'm going there too. Yeah, right. And then the bus came and I got into the bus. And it was a pretty empty bus. There were like maybe three other people. And I was sitting at a random empty spot. And there was enough space everywhere. And that guy comes sitting next to me. And uh, he grabs out his notebook. And he writes something down and shows it to me. And it's like, do you want to hear the story about how I met Fukuoka Airport? What? Uh, yeah, sure, dude tell me whatever I have to sit like an hour next to that guy so I better not fight immediately but um so he writes his whole life story down now I know he has he had like uh, three little sisters a big sister he was always fighting with them blah 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 now he's okay and they live far from each other and I don't know I don't care about his life story but he told me everything and I was like mm, yeah mm. so uh, okay and what 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 I noticed was that he wrote everything exactly. Can you say it upside down? He every letter, if if a, a normal Romaji letter, um, English or Dutch or something, if it has a stroke order, he did it exactly the other way around. He started below and he went on top. But that's not relevant to the story. But um, I asked him. Oh no, he asked me. <laughs> he started to introduce himself. So he grabs a, a, a fitness club card from his purse and starts copying the kanji. And the photo on there was definitely not him because he was not Japanese by far. I could see that. And on the photo that was definitely a Japanese guy so it was not him. And he went copying the kanji very poorly. Like the two easiest kanjis from the book. Even I could read it. It said like Tanaka. And um, well... He copied it. It was it, it looked like shit. And then he wanted to translate it, and he translated with some kind of French or something name. Maybe it was Spanish. I don't know. But and he was 40 years old, and I was like, oh my god! Now I have to introduce myself too. So yeah, I introduced myself as uh, Hank van der Vaart. That was the first Dutch-sounding name that I could think of. I don't know why. He was like van der Vaart. Yeah, like the soccer player. Um, yeah, that's my cousin. It's like. Oh, you look like him. It's like, oh, yeah, well, um, thank you. Uh, I have no idea what that guy looks like. And, and I don't even like football that much. But, yeah, I, I went on with my introduction. Yeah, I'm 25, married, have two children. And uh, I'm a professional kickboxing. Kickboxer. For trying to scare him away. And he was like, oh, professional kickboxer? That's awesome. Blah, 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 blah. Trying to make some sweet talk with me and... I was like, where do you get out of the bus? It's like, just asking where he had to get out. It was like, Izuka bus center. And I was thinking like, oh my fucking god. 
I have to get out there too, so I actually, two stops before Isaka bus center, I pressed the button to, to get out. So I, I was getting out and he gets out there too, trying to make more sweet talk with me and um, offering me cigarettes and I'm like, no, sorry, I'm a professional athlete, I don't smoke or drink. And, and he was fucking annoying and he was still trying to get in my pants and I was like, oh. Fuck, I lost my passport. I'm going to the Korban, like like these um, small police uh, stations you have like everywhere around the city. And it's like I go there and go missing, uh, report my missing uh, missing um, passport. And he was like, Korban, and he looked a bit scared. And I'm like, yeah, 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 it's right over there. So I start walking there and suddenly he had to go home. And he was gone pretty fast, so I was like, ah, finally. So I went home. <laughs> So yeah, that was kind of the story of, of, of my life yesterday, for those of you who are were interested in. And yeah, next time I will probably or tell you the master top tip um, of surviving a high school exchange here in Japan. Or otherwise, I, uh, I will maybe introduce one of the new exchange, or well new, just two months ago, a month ago, I, got, I don't know. There were, came two new exchange students, and maybe I'll introduce one of them to you next time, or maybe I will give you the top tip, I don't know. But uh, the top tip will come at least, like this week or next week, definitely. So um, stay tuned, and have fun. Peace.